and we are now at the last example from this topic of trigonometry let's look at what the question is if 2 sine of pi x by 2 is equal to x square plus 1 by x square then what is the value of x minus 1 by x and the given answer options are 1 0 minus 1 and 2 so the question has got a trigonometric ratio or an equation which says 2 sine of pi x by 2 equals to x square plus 1 by x square right 2 sine of pi x by 2 equals to x square plus 1 by x square so basically uh, what is the angle theta here it is a multiple of 90 degrees we know that pi by 2 radians is equal to 90 degrees so 90 degrees into x x can be some real number right any uh, real number there so 2 times sine of uh, multiple of 90 degrees is equal to x square plus 1 by x square now a simple and the most convenient method of answering this question would be to try with you know random values of x here right let's substitute some values in place of x and see which will give us uh, a right equation or which value of x will balance the given equation here let's try with 0 that's the easiest one to start with x equals to 0 what happens if this is 0 sine of pi by 2 into 0 is 0 what is sine 0 sine 0 is 0 2 into 0 equals to 0 but what do we have on the right hand side x square plus 1 by x square we have taken x as 0 so 0 square is 0 plus 1 by x square will become 1 by 0 which is undefined or infinity we can say so clearly the equation is not balanced with x equal to 0 so x equal to 0 fails to satisfy the given equation let's try with 1 let's see what happens if we take x equals to 1 right x equals to 1 2 times of sine 2 times of sine x is 1 so pi by 2 into 1 is pi by 2 right pi by 2 radians equals to uh, 1 square plus 1 by 1 square right x equals to 1 in the given equation now what is sine pi by 2 sine pi by 2 is sine 90 sine 90 is equal to 1 right sine 90 degrees equal to 1 so 2 into 1 equals to what is this 1 square is 1 plus 1 by 1 square is also 1 so we get 2 equals to 2 which means the equation is satisfied when we take x equals to 1 so we can conclude that the value of x is 1 but the given question says what is the value of x minus 1 by x just substitute x equals to 1 so this will be 1 minus 1 by 1 1 minus 1 by 1 is 0 so the answer for this question would be option b 0 so a question based on trying out with random values of the given variable x here so with this question we come to the end of this topic of trigonometry we have taken a good number of examples covering the various types of questions uh, that are asked from this topic of trigonometry in competitive exams so we have seen uh, different questions which can be answered using converting the trigonometric ratios to the other form questions which involve uh, the various types of trigonometric formulae and the algebraic formulae that we have learned earlier questions involving maximum and uh, you know minimum values of the given trigonometric equations and also as we have seen through many examples that most of the questions here can be solved by trying out with some random values of the given angle there right we can try with some uh, angles specific angles like 0 degrees 30 degrees 45 degrees 60 degrees and 90 degrees if the equation is satisfied then arriving at the answer will become really very quick otherwise we'll have to follow the regular tradition method which involves knowing all the trigonometric formulae that we have shown you in this session so make sure that you learn all the different types of trigonometric identities and the formulae by heart because you never know which formula would come handy while answering these questions in the exam. See you in the next session. Thank you.